Well, I think it's very important to monitor and assess what can be done by ordinary people with consciousness. So if we want to build institutes and have big laboratories and lots and lots of machines and everybody sits around talking about climate change, I don't think it actually changes the outcome. So we get big heads or more degrees or something like that, but what actually happens to the climate? Well, the impacts continue and get worse because you're on a sliding scale now and you're at the crisis point. So I think the, the time has come to just say, okay, we need to go and we need to do it. And we need all of the people to do it. There's a role for everyone to do. And the role for the researchers is to, to realize it's not about expert understanding, it's about ecological literacy. And I think I can teach anybody <laughs> about this you know children i tell the third grade you know in brooklyn about this and they all come up to me and say thank you very much now we have a future so the young kids who are suffering the greta tunbergs of the world who are who are angry and 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 upset because they they are they're mad that they're receiving a world that's been destroyed well okay let's get together and put it back together can we restore the earth? My experience is that we can. I have spent three decades observing and, and documenting and communicating about it, and the results are great. We just need to do it everywhere on the earth. Well, I think what you're seeing is that in, inside the camps, the everyone is participating in collaborative learning for collective intelligence. So you don't need to tell people who understand how to restore the earth what to do. They just do it naturally. And so this is exactly what we need. Now, you, 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 it's like an evolution. It's, it's like flat earth, round earth. You know, if we're in the flat earth, period, we're constrained by our understanding. We're certainly not going to go exploring because we're going to fall off the end of the earth. But if we understand the earth is round, we're going to go off places. But it's also like the end of slavery. So when you have something which is just fundamentally wrong, you have to change it. And so we're in this situation where there's something which is fundamentally wrong. We're valuing stuff, things, and we're not valuing the ecological function. Well, that's a recipe for disaster, and we're, we're reaping the consequences of that now. And this is not a theoretical problem. That's why the researchers have got to understand. This is not a theoretical problem. It's, it's helped by measurements and by understanding, but it's a physical problem. So the, the problems that we encounter and we begin to understand are reflections of massive disruptions on a planetary scale. And the only way to get this right is to understand that the factors are biodiversity, biomass, and accumulated organic matter. So I can explain that to anybody. And when they understand it, then they can participate in increasing organic material, they can participate in restoring vegetation, and they can understand that they, they can propagate and plant out, but mainly indigenous and endemic plants, but they also have to understand how the succession takes place where they don't choose all the species. I don't really have, a, I don't really have an opinion about that. I think it's probably a reflection of, of, of a good thing because it's suggesting that we need to do this. But, but the fact is, if it's a policy or if it's a, a theoretical discussion, or if it's another meeting, it's not really going to change the outcome. The outcome is going to be changed by people who increase biodiversity, biomass, and accumulated organic matter, not those who, who write lovely essays about, about this. And, you know, I'm, I write lots of lovely essays, so, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm required to go out camping and restore the earth. And so is everybody who's in this position. Um, they have a choice, but if, if they're not given an option, 
if they're not if they don't know that there is a their what their choices are so they're they're socialized they're socialized by the precedents in culture and in governance and in education and in in their lives so they're naturally going to do what the culture is is pushing them towards and so to take the other route to to take the path less less traveled they have to they have to think about it so we're suggesting that people become supporting members most of us are sharing 10 euros per month so 10 euros per month is 120 euros per year it's not so much money if, in, if you're in a developed world and i think that that's a low bar but the interesting thing is that we don't want it to be the responsibility of just a few we want everybody to join and, and take ownership of this so if there are a million people who share 10 euros per month that's 120 million euros per year so you can make a lot of camps with this well i think we just have to all work together so any organization and any individuals any groups that are participating in infiltrating and retaining moisture in growing organic soils and propagating and planting out are really participating in this and the ones who are simply writing studies about it are are not so welcome everybody who understands these issues let's go camping it's the lowest cost and the highest outcome so that's what we need to do at this time we can't wait around we can't just i mean if there's huge amounts of money we know in the climate funds and everything but they're not spending them in the right way they're just kind of swirling around in a highly paid vortex of of consultants well okay people can't wait for them to sort that out and so they have to go and do what needs to be done and then the, those people who control all that money they need to support these these kinds of efforts because they go directly to the ground and they do exactly what we want and so today if somebody suddenly realizes oh i could learn ecosystem restoration well i should do that then immediately they can go to camp and immediately they can be sequestering carbon the scientific data says we have a very short window of opportunity we're already experiencing catastrophic impacts from climate change so you know there's no waiting around there's no more studies we ha i mean you can study you can continuously study but you have to do that simultaneously with doing what we already know we already know it's based on biodiversity, biomass, and accumulated organic matter. So that's what we're going to do.